like that. Uh, so this is, I am Gilles Bosquet and this is A Quiet Taste. I can feel the avocado. Uh, the nourish is quite powerful. Yeah, I think my kids will love that. Um, no. If I have to do it for me, but if I have to do it for other people, maybe I will do it a little bit less complicated. Uh, so we are going to do our TikTok uh, viral salmon bowl, uh, my version. Uh, I think you can do it back at home. Uh, it can be very simple. You just have to go to find the ingredients, basically. We'll start cutting the salmon into small uh, cubes. So I will not, I'm not going to cook the salmon. I'm going to do it raw. Uh, as you have a nice fresh salmon, uh, it's quite nice. You don't have to, you don't have to, to cook it. Quite simple. Try to get a sharp knife always. And uh, very important when you make a salmon bowl, try to have a balance of everything. You cannot have too much salmon. So over here you've got the plain rice. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just take a little bit of rice vinegar, just drizzle on the rice. Normally I put a little bit of, um, of salt, but I'm not going to season it as I'm going to season it later with uh, uh, soya sauce. So I'm going to place the rice as you're going to do it at home. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to season the, the salmon. So I just prepare a little bit of uh, mayonnaise, not too much. All right, you've got a bit of mayonnaise over here. And I love chili. So what I do, you can use whatever chili you have, chili, fresh chili. I use a bit of sriracha. You can have sriracha everywhere, everywhere in any supermarket. So a touch of sriracha over here. Okay, mix that. Okay. And this will be my seasoning for the salmon mix. Touch of spring onion, a little bit of pepper, touch of salt, and a pinch of, a pinch, but just a little squeeze of lemon juice on top. All right, so just make sure you stir it properly. Right, just get some asparagus cut. I got a bit of cheese olives over here. Cut that cheese olives. I have said, if you can have it, this is optional. And what I do, I like putting a little bit of ginger on the side, pickled ginger and a little bit of wasabi, if you like it. You put your salmon here, top of the rice. I like to put it on the rice because all the sauce after goes back into the rice. It gives this flavor. It's not separate. Avocado. Check that in. Put the asparagus next to it. Then half a little bit of all these herbs around. Okay. Don't forget the sesame seeds, very important. And here, bits and pieces, very important. On top, gives you this, as I said to you, not too much because you need to have, to make sure that you taste a bit of everything. So now we did, uh, we finished the plate basically. It's only the sauce to, we just need to put the sauce. As I said to you, you've got over here, you've got the salmon marinated, you've got some uh, asparagus, avocado. If you like mango, carrots, you can remove, you can add whatever you want. But I said, I said to you, don't add too many things. Um, so over here, I will add a little bit of pepper on top, a little bit of pepper to finish it, and the mixture you have. The soya sauce, the mirror in the water, as you can see, it's quite light in color. It's not that dark soya sauce, so it's, uh, it's not that uh, aggressive in taste. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top, not too much, but because don't forget that the salmon has been seasoned already. It's just to season an extra seasoning for the vegetable and for the rice underneath it. Here we go. That's done. 
have some for you to taste.